Hi there, my name is Cecil Whitmire. I'm the president of the Alabama Theater, and I'm here with one of the more famous thing, organs in the entire state, the big, beautiful, historic Mighty Wurlitzer Pipe Organ that was installed in 1927 to accompany the silent film. One of the unique features of this organ is that its original purpose was to uh, take away the need for a orchestra in the theater during the silent film days. So incorporated in the organ sounds are sounds that you would normally associate with a band. For instance, a piano, xylophone, another xylophone, Glockenspiel, Chrysoglock, which is my favorite. Chimes. And we also have orchestral chimes, which are uh, something that you didn't find on a lot of organs. They either had one or the other. This one seems to have both. This one also has a unique feature of sleigh bells. Most organs in the old days, to keep the cost down, would have one single sleigh bell. This one seems to have all 88 sleigh bells. And it also has a drum, timpani, top hat, tap cymbal, cymbal crash. Then we have a snare drum in case we want to start off a band. Tom Tom, tambourine, I'm sorry, triangle. Uh, then we have the sand block, castanets, and here's that tambourine in Chinese block. This organ will also produce sounds that you would normally hear in a large church organ. cathedral organ. For those rainy, rainy days, we also have our own thunder. I have wind chime. I can hardly hear it. Uh, we have a Chinese gong, roll and crash, a, a cymbal, roll and crash, and uh, that just about covers everything except the great big bass notes and the little bitty high notes. For instance, I'm sure you won't be able to hear this on the TV, but that's the highest note on the organ. And the lowest note, and that's what's called a gut buster, or lease breaker. If you had an apartment next door to one of these, you certainly would not want to, to be there for very long. Uh, the organ is very well maintained. Uh, everything on it works, or at least it did work. Uh, and so we have the four keyboards, and this was intended to set up a sound on each keyboard. So you could have different sounds set up for the silent film. Or you could do this by changing your hands back and forth. The hardest part about playing this is to try to remember where all 300 of these stops are. Um, we have all the pipes that are installed in three chambers. We have controls for them down here at the bottom. and. 
We have indicators up here that tell you exactly where your main string and solo um, indicators are. We can also open the organ up, which produces so much noise that a lot of people don't like that. But uh, it, it's quite a wonderful instrument. And one of the things that people like is to have big patriotic sounds on the organ. Uh, for instance, America the Beautiful is always a very beautiful play, beautiful thing to play. Yeah. 